Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of this studio. My name is Adam, and today we have the very special Casey Cangelosi series from Innovative Percussion. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Zero Gravity Percussion, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Mallet Lab, Bradley Crowley, John K. Holter, Ryan Carlisle, Rudolph Kralik, and Scott Rader. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Tommy. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash mtan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I hope you've been well. I hope you had a fantastic holiday and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first episode for 2019. And for the first episode of 2019, we have the entire Casey Cangelosi series from Innovative Percussion. So in the last episode, Casey Cangelosi and Innovative Percussion were very kind and they sent every single mallet in the Casey Cangelosi series times two. I actually have two pairs of each now. Thank you so much to Innovative Percussion. But this video is not sponsored by Innovative Percussion or Casey Cangelosi. I just really like but I'm sure all of you guys know who Casey Cangelosi is. If not, he's one of the most prolific artists and composers of our time. In fact, he's composed some of the most influential works, including White Knuckle Stroll. and other very influential pieces of music for percussion and he's also an insane player he has really really good stick technique he's just like i'm a really big casey fan so casey if you're watching you're the best okay so let's start off with the model lineup so casey cangelosi's mallets have six models there are six hardnesses ranging from very soft all the way to somewhat hard. Innovative Percussion has divided these six models into two separate lineups. One of them is the standard lineup from one to four, which has gray yarn. And the two remaining models have blue yarn and have a letter Y after their name. So we start the lineup with the softest mallet, which is the CGL1Y, which is the less articulate version of the CGL1. This mallet is black and blue. And then of course we follow that with the CGL1, which is black and gray. The purple and blue CGL2Y, which is then followed by the purple and gray CGL2, the CGL3, which is blue and gray. And finally the hardest one, the CGL4, which is white and gray. These mallets only come in in birch and they come in at a retail price of 39 US dollars, which is honestly right in the middle of the market. It's not really that expensive and it's not really that cheap either. But of course, innovative percussion mallets tend to be right in the middle end of the spectrum and some of their mallets start to lean towards expensive territory. For reference, Casey's best friend, Pius Chang's mallet series is 42 US dollars. So although I like both Casey and Pius, I have to say Casey's mallet is better value by $3. Now we can move on to the build quality and design. And what I really like about Innovative Percussion is that definitely their build quality is of a reasonably high standard. Now starting from the top of the head, you'll notice this round yarn design with the lines looks very, very similar to other Innovative Percussion mallets. The first one that comes to mind for me is the Ludwig Albert series and I know for a lot of you guys the first one that comes to mind is a recently discontinued series which we will not name. But the material of this yarn head is actually bamboo fiber which is very interesting. I've always noticed innovative percussion is very innovative with their material choices. Bamboo fiber is definitely not the usual wool yarn or synthetic yarn that we're used to. And they say that the bamboo yarn gives a good blend between the warmth of wool and the punchiness of synthetic. The cores are also made of rubber. So as a result, you get this sort of bouncy mallet head that is very, very resilient. It honestly does not feel like it's going to be damaged that easily. It definitely passes the studio squeeze test because there is literally 
nothing to squeeze. Excuse me? And then when you move down towards the shaft, you notice that the shaft has a very sandy finish. It's what they call a natural finish. And I know this gives you more grip when you're not using it with any tape, fair play, but actually I like to use tape, so it won't really bother me that much. But when I don't have tape on it, it kind of makes my fingers feel a little bit irritated. Again, this is just personal preference. It's not objectively bad to have sandy shafts. I just like to have tape. And then if you look at the text on the shaft, you'll notice that it's printed really, really well. It's not in Engraved, but I can forgive them because the printing is really, really neat and consistent across all of the models. I don't notice any sort of smudging. There's the innovative percussion logo, the CGL model designation, Casey Cangelosi's signature. I really like it. It gives it sort of a personal touch. And finally, in very, very small letters, the three most important letters in the world, USA. And then when you move down towards the bottom, you notice that the shafts have very nice rounded ends. So it is a case of smooth ends make friends. So yes, overall a very robust mallet in terms of build quality. And now we move on to ergonomics and yes, these mallets are really quite heavy. But yes, I know holding a marimba mallet like this doesn't really tell you anything about the weight. So to give you a more exact reference, I'm going to be using a scale from now on in all of my mallet reviews. So it's time to scale up. <laughs> so of course you can't get the exact weight of these mallets because you can't put the entire mallet on this little scale, but it will give you an idea of just how equal the weights are and how much in proportion the weights differ between hardnesses. So starting off with the CGL1Y and you'll notice that one of the mallet heads weighs around 42 grams and the other one weighs also around 42 grams. Moving on to the CGL1s, they come in at about 43 grams and the other one comes in at about 44 grams. The CGL2Y comes in a little bit lighter because there's less yarn at about 38 grams. The other one as well is about 39 grams. The CGL2 comes in at about 40 grams and the other CGL2 also comes in at 40 grams. The CGL3 comes in at 34 grams and the other CGL3 also comes in at around 34 to 35 grams. And finally, the lightest mallet, the CGL4s, come in at 32 to 33 grams. And the other one as well, yep, about the same, 33 grams. So yes, all the mallets are quite evenly matched, but you can tell the black mallets definitely weigh a lot more than the other three because the heads are just that much thicker. So if weight variance is a problem for you, you might wanna test these mallets out first. And finally, we get to the sound test of these mallets. Now, I'm not gonna say anything about how these mallets sound until after the sound test, but I'm basically gonna do a few different tests of all of these hardnesses, including the standard sound test, and I'm also going to play some tunes. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. This is the sound test.
So guys, what did you think of the Casey Cangelosi series? Let me know down in the comments below.
These mallets produce a very thick and sort of splatty sound. You're not going to get a sound that has zero contact sound, which is not a bad thing. I know in older videos I used to say contact sound is like fa 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 and it's really bad and rah, rah. But actually some people really like that sort of articulate pop pop sort of sound and these mallets give it in droves. The sound is literally exactly like how it looks, like it's a very round bouncy sound and I find it really enjoyable to play because the mallets just kind of they just kind of rebound really quickly. So definitely very, very suitable for Casey's music, which is usually quite fast and very advanced, but also suitable for, I'd say a lot of marimba music out there. The only thing I will say is of course, if you're looking for a mallet series that has no articulation and you don't want to have that sort of attack on the beginning of every note, then you might want to give these a pass. Or if you're looking for mallets that are really hard, because even the hardest mallet in this series is not that hard. And so for today's review, I'm very pleased to be giving the very coveted, very unnecessary, why do I keep clapping like this, the studio seal of approval. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of 2019 and please remember to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. We are approaching 15,000 subscribers, like we're really going for the midway mark. And if we can get to 20,000 by the end of this year, I'll be so happy, I'll be over the moon. Haha, <laughs> moon. And yes, there's going to be a lot of fun and interesting content on this channel uploaded over the next few months for 2019, including my brand new marimba and vibes duo Flying Colors, which we premiered in Hong Kong last week. And of course, we're also going to be making a whole bunch of brand new studio episodes, including a new mallet tape tutorial and many other of your requests. So if you have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below. And the very last thing I want to say is, of course, it's approaching the end of January, which means for our Marimba Festival in July, Marimba Fest, the early bird discount is running out very, very soon. We are offering a discount of up to 15% of all tickets until the 1st of February 2019. So if you want to register now for Marimba Fest, you can go to marimbafest.com. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate your support into the new year. I will see you guys next week for another episode of this studio, good night.